June 2023. Thank you very much for joining us for Sports Today on ABS TV, Monday edition. It is I am Ike Mokede. On the show today, Anambra State gets a first golf course, and it is in the mode of a unisic octagon um, twin Laker golf course. We'll tell you about that on the show. We'll also be talking about uh, the ongoing Anambra School Sports Festival, which enters the zonal elimination and stages. We'll talk about that. The competition is expected to happen uh, the Zone Elimination Friday and Saturday on the show. Then we'll talk about uh, the Nigeria Professional, the Nigeria Premier League. It is at uh, the Super Six is on. We're done with match day one and we're set for match day two today across um, in Lagos uh, for the Super Six to determine the winner of uh, the league this season and also to determine the teams that will be representing Nigeria in the CAF Interclub competition. We'll also be talking about Formula One. Tennis is also on the show. Athletics and results of um, league matches across uh, Western Europe with most of the leagues are coming to a close this past weekend. Also, we'll go to Germany and um, England and tell you about um, the FA Cup in those uh, countries. Now, let's begin with our first time um, story on the show, which is about uh, the Anambra School Sports Festival. It is a program of um, the Anambra State Sports Development Commission under the leadership of an horrible Patrick Estate Onyedum. And the ongoing school sports festival is set to enter the zonal competition stages with actions uh, at uh, three centers for each uh, senatorial district that uh, come Friday, the 9th and Saturday, 10th of uh, June 2023. The Medin School Sports Festival, which is a brainchild of uh, Patrick Estate Onyedum, Chiama Anambra State uh, Sports Development Commission, ASSDC had earlier commenced on May 17th, 2023, from the community level to the local government stages, which was completed on Monday, the 29th of May, 2023. A total of 610 primary and secondary schools are participating in the colorful grassroots sports program with over 15,000 student athletes are competing for honors in 10 sporting events such as athletics, basketball, chess, football, scrabble, swimming, table tennis, tennis, volleyball, and taekwondo. While cricket is expected to be displayed as a demonstration sport. According to information made available to the media by the main organizing committee during her meeting held on Wednesday, 31st of May, 2023, at the ASSDC conference hall. There will be four events to be competed for by student athletes at the zonal level, namely football, basketball, volleyball, and uh, tennis. Anambra Central Senatoria Zone will have her event at St. Stephen's uh, Anglican Church, if it do and St. Mary's High School, if it do For Anambra North Zone, their event uh, will hold at a recreational club and a uh, true by Bazoo Stadium, all domiciled in Onichawa. For Anambra South Zone, events uh, will take place at the community secondary school in Swafia and uh, Ekulobia Township Stadium at Guata. Patrick Estate Onyedun, while reacting on the development, uh, so far commended the student athletes uh, for their conduct and display and the uh, competitive spirit uh, during the community and local government stages of uh, the competition. Onyedun urged them to replicate uh, the same performance at uh, the upcoming zonal competition while also eulogizing officials uh, for their commitment and dedication in ensuring that the festival is each free, successful, and results are obtained are uh, commendable. The chairman also thanked that the executive governor of the state his excellency professor charles chukuma Suludo, for his immense support to sports development and the commission in ensuring that anambra youth are meaningfully engaged as sports and recreational wise the state finals of the ongoing anambra school sports festival is expected to hold at the oka city stadium that's coming from wednesday the 21st um, of uh, June to Saturday, the 24th of uh, June 2023. And what you are seeing are the pictures during the official press conference uh, to declare uh, the event open. And the event is waxing strong all about the Anambra School Sports Festival entering the zonal stage right now. And that's going to happen this Friday, uh, the 9th and 10th. And be sure ABS will be there to capture some of uh, the moments there. And we'll probably add that on our sports show on Sports Today on ABS TV. And now moving away from that, let's talk about uh, the first golf course in Anambra State. Yes, a history was made on Saturday, the 3rd of June, 2023, as on the Vice Chancellor of Nambia Sikiwe University, Oka performed at the groundbreaking ceremony 
of her golf, her course, her name, Unisic Octagon, Twin, a lake, a golf course, a club are located inside the university premises close to Stanel uh, Ward. Okay, the 18 hole and golf, a course, is part of a division of um, Project 200 of the present administration under the leadership of uh, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Charles Simone FAS, towards uh, projecting the university to limelight, encouraging the growth of uh, the game of a uh, golf in the state and uniting uh, the town and gown through the beautiful game. In his remarks, a Unizik VC, Prof. Charles Esimone, described the moment as a dream uh, come true. Esimone revealed that he thought he had uh, mapped out at the location of uh, the golf course on the Unizik master plan while engaging the special advisor to the VC, SAVC on land and natural resources matter, Prof. Peter Nabude, who played a pivotal role in the substructure of the project as well as uh, the director of the Unizik business adventures, Dr. Uche Ngenebo, for his immense contributions to the program in the area of sourcing for funding. Prof. Simone opined that the project that is being executed with funds are sourced outside as the university does not have the funding in the execution of the golf course project. The chief executive of the institution thanked the management team, governing council, and the body of the university community and beyond for turning out in their numbers to witness a historic moment in the existence of the institution. In his address, the facility coordinator and director of Unisic Business School, Uche Ngerebo, stated that the institution has matched beyond the dimness of light of law forgotten hope to have a golf course are created at a Unisic in Anambra State into open day of renewed hope. Ngerebo disclosed that the Unisic um, Octagon Twin Lake a golf course, uh, which is at the first in Anambra State has a standard 18 holes a golf a course a private membership club which has been created on this day the scholar disclosed that the project is not being a sponsor from the university financial coffers but from funds as sourced externally in Genebo eulogized that the VC for his dream innovation and creative direction of purpose in achieving the project he opined that the ground breaking a ceremony symbolizes um, our trust in God and during faith in representative a fulfillment of desires to have at the facility and the benefit and the belief rather in the ability to reshape our lost hopes into realities as was are always meant to be on his part at the captain of the golf course at club at dr peter scalo informed that the unisica will be the first and only university in nigeria to have a golf course inside of it all made possible by the vice chancellor professor charles simone he further disclosed that the course that came close is at the court the course at a university of a benin teaching hospital ubth in a those states and smoking hills a golf resort are located at elizade university in elara Mokin in on the state carlo avada the whole number one on the golf course has been named for the vc and will be called the vice chancellor as a whole the scholar described the golf as the only game that is played and natural played in the natural environment he however encouraged all to be part of um, the sports are reacting also the ceo juher nigeria limited uh, chief dr eric okoye stated that golfing is one thing uh, lacking in the state and it is quite funny that this is coming up as uh, the first uh, public golf course that anambra is having despite the fact that core golfers in the federation are indigenous of anambra who occupy top positions in most uh, golf courses chief okoye described that the moment as an exciting one while eulogizing unisic vc professor Simone, ensuring that the dream of establishing a golf course uh, became a reality under his administration as the chief executive of the institution another respondent on the occasion was chief paul nama of and the python golf across in port harcourt river state ceremonial tea off as you are seeing on your screen and foundation stone laying of uh, the club and house are formed at the high point of um, the colorful occasion. So it is now official that Anambra State now has its own first uh, golf course in the mode of um, the Unisic Octagon Twin Lake uh, Golf Course, which was um, officially um, open and that was on Saturday. So uh, for you golf, golf, golf lovers, it is time to be part of um, this. Uh, Unisic has got a golf course. It's the first for Anambra State and uh, you can be part of it uh, by playing the game of golf at uh, their golf course moving away from that let's talk about the nigeria premier football league the mpfl has entered the super six stage at two um determine the teams that will represent um, the country in the calf interclub competition which is expected to commence in the month of um, august at the league the abridge league has been concluded and now we now have um the super six which is on yes um the action kick started two days ago and uh, in the first um, round of match day one a 
Qatar International played out a two all draw against the Remo Stars. Elsewhere, it was Sunshine Stars nil, Rivers United one, as you can see on your screen. Bendel Insurance played out a goal less draw against the Lobby Stars. On the table right now, after match day one, Rivers United have um, three points from just a match play. Lobby Stars um, second on the log, Enyimba third, Remo Stars fourth, Bendel Insurance fifth, and Sunshine Stars with no points. Now for day two, yes, day two is um, today. Lobby Stars are be playing a nearby international by 2 p.m. Watch out for Rivers United entertaining Remo Stars by 4 p.m. Bendel Insurance that will take on Sunshine Stars by 6 p.m. So that's the story of uh, the Nigeria uh, Premier Football League, which is ongoing. And uh, the winner of um, the league and the team that finished second will represent Nigeria in the CAF Champions League, while the team that finished um, third and uh, the winner of uh, the FA Cup. Um, will represent uh, the country in the CAF Confederations Cup. So, uh, the winner of this competition, first and second of the Super Six, they are qualifying to play in the CAF Champions League, while the team that will finish third that will play in the CAF Confederations Cup. Then, the winner of um, the FA Cup uh, between Rangers International and Bendel Insurance will now get one of um, the remaining slaughter to play in the CAF Interclub competition in the mode of uh, the CAF Confederations Cup. Moving elsewhere, um, Lagos State uh, Governor Baba Jide Sawolu yesterday hosted, I think it was on Saturday, actually hosted Asna Wenga Bukayo Saka, um, who is in Nigeria on vacation. Saka, who is on of um, Nigeria descent, had recently sent uh, the local football community in the country into a frenzy when a video of him strolling the streets of Lagos surfaced on the internet. The English international is on a short-term vacation in Nigeria, after which he will return to England ahead of uh, the UEFA Nations League and um, pre-season tournament. An exciting sound goal, Luwa receiving Saka at the State House at Marina, revealed that the 21-year-old is his favorite uh, Arsenal player. The governor disclosed that he is an Arsenal fan while noting how proud he is of their inspiring run in the Premier League this season. So Bukayo Saka is in the country at the moment and he visited as Sanwo, Governor Sanwo Olu. Uh, that's some, stay back, um, some days back. He is back here just to have a fun um, back to his homeland. Bukayo Saka, uh, and a great player for us now and for the three Lions in England. Unfortunately, couldn't play for the Super Eagles of Nigeria, but he recognized that he's rude and he's back for some holidays before he goes back for uh, the UEFA Nations League and other competition and maybe precision also in due course as they look forward towards the 2023-2024 season. You can recall that Arsenal finished um, second on the lock at the end of uh, the season and are returning to the Champions League for the first time in seven years. And now let's tell you that the Nigeria Football Federation has secured a sponsor for the country's oldest club football competition, the Federation's Cup. Um, the uh, Federation's Cup and the tournament that will be sponsored by Tingo, which is a global fintech and agri-fintech group of companies with operations in, uh, in Africa, South East Asia, and the Middle East. However, the NFF did not disclose the amount involved nor the duration of the partnership with Tingo. The, present, uh, the president of the NFF, our Haji Ibrahim Musa Guso, congratulated Tingo for their steadfastness to ensure the actualization of their relationship. And uh, we took our time to conduct due diligence on the company and we found them to be upright and credible, Guso stated on the NFF website. For us, it is about credibility and integrity. A number of corporates have um, approached us for partnership but we are taking our time to evaluate things. I congratulate Tingo for their steadfastness to ensure the actualization of uh, this relationship. We believe it is at the beginning of uh, great things that will happen between the company and the NFF are going forward, um, Ibrahim Gusso stated. The Federation Cup uh, began as uh, the Governor's Cup in 1945 and has been addressed uh, variously as the Challenge Cup and the Football Association Cup over the decades. Uh, but the important news is that Tingo has signed a deal with the NFF for the sponsorship of uh, the Federation's Cup. It used to be ITO. That's why now it is now renamed the NFF Tingo Federation's Cup. And Rangers International will be playing the finals against 
Philaster Bendel Insurance later this month. Um, we are getting Philaster. The game will happen at um, the Stephen Keshi Stadium in Asababo. Um, in subsequent edition of the show, we'll bring you up to speed as regards uh, when the finals will be coming up and uh, the date of that and equally the location as regards uh, that one. And away from that, uh, still talking football, Ghana defender Patrick uh, Pfeiffer has completed his move to German Bundesliga club Augsburg ahead of uh, the 2023-2024 season. The towering player has joined uh, Fuga Stad from DV Darmstadt 98, uh, who we are recently promoted to the Bundesliga from Bundesliga 2. Augsburg uh, issued uh, the following statement uh, indicating that uh, Pfeiffer, who was uh, born in Hamburger, Germany to Ghanaian parents, uh, has signed a four-year deal that will expire in 2027. In July 2022, Ghanaian Football Association President Kurt Okrako announced that Pfeiffer was one of the few players that had officially switched their allegiances to represent the Ghanaian senior national team internationally. However, the talented player is yet to play for the Black Stars of um, Ghana. But some good news now. He will be playing in the German, the Elite League in Germany come next season. So expect him to be on the eyes of um, the, the media. Uh, now to some Formula One news as we step away from football. Red Bulls and Max Verstappen. Yes, a cruise that too, a third a consecutive victory. He's a fifth in seven races to win the Spanish Grand Prix and take control of uh, the season. The Dutchman's a 40th career victory extended his championship lead over teammate Sergio Perez to 53 points. Verstappen was a followed home by Louis Hamilton team and Josh Russell on an encouraging day for Miss this Russell faced a charger from Perez in the closing laps but held on for his first podium finish of the year. Carlos Sainz slipped up from second on the grid to fifth at the finish in the upgraded Ferrari losing fourth to Perez in the closing stages and Fernando Alonso charged up from the 10th place after his final pit stop to pass and three drivers to take seventh at the flag. Alonso could have also passed as the Martin teammate Alan Stroh for sixth but backed off and held position behind the Canadian even going on to the radio to tell the team to let Stroh know there was no risk that he would try to overtake him. Moving away from Formula One, let's talk about uh, tennis. Let's talk about um, the second Grand Slam of uh, the year, which is uh, the French Open happening at the Roland Garros. Let's tell you that Ukraine's uh, Elena Vitolina reached uh, the French Open quarterfinals as her first Grand Slam since becoming a mother continued in dream fashion. The former world number one three beat a uh, Russian ninth seed uh, Daria Kasatskina six. 476 to reach at the last eight. Vitolina, who is a chasing a first Grand Slam title, will next face the second seed, Arena Sabalenka of Belarus, or American former U.S. Open champion Sloan Stevens, who play, uh, who was expected to play on Sunday night. Earlier on Sunday, Russia's Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova, a runner-up at the 2021 French Open, fought back from a set down to beat a Belgium to the eighth seed, Elise Metins, 367663. Pavlyuchenkova Cover, who has uh, slipped uh, to 333rd in the world rankings after a knee injury kept her out for five months last year, will play Carolina Muchova in the quarterfinals. The Czech, uh, who had never got uh, further than the third round at the Roland Garros, uh, claimed a 6 4 6 3 victory over Russian lucky loser Elena Avenesian or on court uh, Suzanne Lenglem. We hear. And away from tennis news, uh, let's check out what's happening in the world of athletics. In the world of athletics, uh, fate, uh, keep your gun. Um, set a new 1,500 meters uh, world record in Florence Diamond League meeting. And that was on Friday with uh, Britain's uh, Laura Mayer. A distant uh, second, Mayer was at uh, 10 meters uh, behind Kenya's uh, reigning world. An Olympic champion, 29 years of age, uh, heading into the final lap. And uh, Feta Kipyogon breaks uh, women's uh, 1,500 meters record in uh, a, a, a classy uh, way. And Kipyogon strict and clear to win in 3 minutes, 49.11 seconds, uh, breaking the 3.50 barrier for the first time. While Mayer ran a season's best of uh, 3 minutes, 57. 
1.09 seconds. Ethiopia's against Zeba Dibaba set at the previous record over three minutes and 50.07 seconds in 2015. Ireland Sakli Asiara Magian also ran a season's best at time as she finished her fourth in four minutes and 00.95 seconds. And Keep Your Gun has won both award and Olympic gold on two occasions, but this is uh, the first um, time she has broken the world record. She now holds at the first and third the fastest time in history, running her previous best of three minutes, 50.37 seconds at last August. And former 200 meters world champion Gina Asha Smith had to pull out of the women's 100 meters moments before the race after suffering the cramp in the blocks and away from athletics now lastly let's check out what's happening in the world of football karim benzema is to leave a real madrid after 14 years at the club the ballon d'or winning striker who joined the spanish giant from olympic Lyon in 29 in 2009 will depart on a free transfer when the season and uh, Benzema, who had a year left on his uh, contract, is set to move to Saudi Arabia after receiving a record offer from Al Ittihad, according to Spanish uh, football journalist uh, Guillem Balagu. Uh, Benzema, 35 years of age, won five Champions Leagues and four La Liga titles with uh, Madrid, Saudi state run, uh, Saudi state run Al Ekhabria. Television station reported on Sunday that Benzema will sign a two year deal with Al Ittihad and Real Boza Carlo and Celotti had said on Saturday that he expected the former French international to stay until next um, season. But Karim Benzema, uh, we, this is uh, his last outing in the white shirt of a Real Madrid and he will be moving for um, a new place, to play at a new place this time around Saudi Arabia, just as Ronaldo has actually urged most of them to get in there. The likes of Luka Modric is also trying to go there and a whole lot of other players that we hear, including Lionel Messi. So we'll be watching out for that when he's sign on the dotted lines of one of the teams in Saudi Arabia. Be sure we'll tell you on the sports show, sports today on ABS TV. And before we jet on the show, let's check out uh, the full bouquet of the results of matches that played at the weekend. We'll start with the French Ligue In the French Ligue is just your one Marseille nil, Auxerre one, Lens three, Brest I lost one two to Rene, and it was Laurier two, Strasbourg one, Monaco one to Lou two, elsewhere Nantes one, Angers nil, Lyon lost on the road to Nice town um, three one, PSG lost at two three to Clermont Foot, Rennes one, Montpellier three, and Troyes one, Lille lost Metropole one. In uh, Italy the Serie A, uh, AC Milan defeated at Verona by three goals to one, Atalanta five, Monza two, Lecce two, Bologna three. AS Roma 2, Spezia 1, that's at the Stadio Olimpico, Udinese Neo. Juventus won. Napoli defeated Sampdoria by two goals to nil. Elsewhere was Cremonese two. Salanitana nil. Empoli nil. Lazio two. Torino nil. Inter Milan one. And Sassuolo lost one three to Fiorentina. So many teams are playing at home. Lost at the weekend. And that's the rush towards the ending of the season. Some teams are want to avoid relegation at all costs. And then more results of this nature will always a prop up. In Spain, that's the La Liga Santander. Celta Vigo defeated Barcelona by two goals to one to avoid a relegation now they will be playing in the La Liga Santander uh, come next season. Elche one, Cadiz one, Espanol three, Almeria three in a six goal trailer. It was Real Betis one, Valencia one, Real Valladolid new, Hetafe new, Real Mallorca three, Rayo Vallecano new, Osasuna defeated Girona by two goals to one, Real Madrid one, Athletic Bioba one, Real Sociedad two, Sevilla one, Villarreal two, Atletico Madrid two. That's at um, the El Madrigal Stadium, the home ground of um, VRL in Germany. RB Leipzig, my champions of the DFB Cup, um, after beating on Trank Frankfurt by two goals to near Christopher and Kunku scored the first goal in the 71st minute of uh, the game. And Dominic uh, Zoboslai scored the second in the 85th minute of uh, the game to ensure um, Leipzig are the champions of the DFB Cup for the 2020. 2023 season. While in England, Manchester City um, have won their double and in anticipation of the finals this Saturday in the Champions League to see if they can do a treble. They defeated Manchester United by two goals to one. Alka Gundogan got two goals uh, in that match. He scored 12 minutes into the game and later got another one in the 51st after Bruno Fernandes had restored parity for United from the sports in the 33rd minutes of uh, the game. So Manchester City are champions of uh, the FA Cup, the champions of the league 
Italy and they have the Champions League coming up at this weekend. They could make it treble. Let's watch out and see how it goes. Well, on that note, that's the size of the show this morning. Thank you very much for being part of the Monday edition of our Sports Today. The show will make a return tomorrow for another episode. I am Ike Mokede. Have a lovely week and keep sporting. Bye-bye.